Welcome to this video about how to do ticketing with ClickSense and Java. The first thing we need to do is download the Java Standard Edition Software Development Kit. Following the download, click Next and begin the installation. We are just pressing Next, Next, Next. When we are done installing, we should be able to see the path where it is installed, and that is important to remember because it will be needed later when we are going to compile the Java code. When you have documented this, press Next and we will continue with the final installation. Now we are done with installation, and we can go into the ClickSense Management Console. In the Management Console, we will go into Certificates, and here we will add a machine name. In my case, I will call it Windows 2012. I will also put in a certificate password, which will be Test Test. It has to be at least six characters, and we will export the certificates in Windows format. When that is done, we will also select the platform independent format, and then click on Export. Now we have multiple certificates ready for us to help with the ticketing with Java. I will go ahead and copy the path to where the certificates are stored. Then open a file explorer, and here we will paste in the file path, and go to the folder with our machine name, in my case, Windows 2012. In this folder, there are two certificates we need. Those are the client.pfx and root.cer, so copy both of them to your clipboard and then go back and create a new directory in your C drive named Java. In that newly created Java directory, paste in the two certificates. Now we can use the Java Certificate Key Store to work with them in our Java environment. Let's go ahead and open a notepad and copy the file path for the Java bin directory to make sure that we have this for later. Now we will go into the ClickSense QMC and create a new virtual proxy. Click on Virtual Proxy and Create New. Let's give it a name and a prefix. I will call mine Custom. Then we need to add a load balancing node. Just add the central one, and before we go ahead and apply it, we need to make sure to give it a unique cookie session header name, and we will add the ticket. When you are done, click Apply. Then on the right hand side under Associated Items, click on Proxies and do a link to the central proxy service. Now we should be good on the virtual proxy side. So let's refresh the QMC and go into virtual proxies in the QMC and check that we have the central one and the one we just created, in this case called custom. We can now go ahead and open the command prompt and go to the Java directory and check if we have all the files that we expect, that is, the two certificates.
Now paste in the first snippet provided with this video tutorial, which will make sure that we can use the client.pfx and we will change that to client.jks. You can see that I use the test test password both for the input and the output. We will hit enter on this one and then we should be able to import it. Now we are ready to take the other snippet where we are using the root.cer, which is because it is a self-signed certificate which we are using in ClickSense. We need that in so it accepts the ClickCA as a CA. Paste that snippet in and press enter. Now we have those files ready. Open a new notepad and paste in the last snippet that we provided. In the top of the code, we need to change lines 2 and 3 in the first section. The first one is the host name, which I will call Windows 2012 from earlier, and the virtual proxy prefix, which in my case was custom. Then in the next section, you can see that we point to the Java folder, and that might be different depending on your folder name. In that case, we are pointing to the different certificates, and again, you put in your output password, which in my case was test test. You can also see here that only the root is used because we used the self-signed certificate in ClickSense, and if this was a real certificate, that would be fine. Save this notepad and let's put this into the Java directory and call it ticket.java. Once we have saved it, we can go ahead and check that we have everything that is expected in the directory. Go into the Java directory and type dir, and we can see that we have the ticket.java in there together with our certificates. Now go back to the notepad with the file path to the Java bin and copy the path. Go back to the command prompt and put in a double quote and paste in the file path from the clipboard. Then type backslash javac.exe double quote, C is for compiler, and then a space and type ticket.java and hit enter. It will now compile the code and we are ready to run the Java code. Hit arrow up on the keyboard and then we can delete the first part until it says java.exe and then end it with ticket. This one takes two input parameters, the username and the user directory. So in this case, I will type name1, put a space, and write dir1, and hit enter. And we can see that we got the ticket as the response. So go ahead and mark the ticket and copy it to the clipboard. Do not copy the double quotes. Create a new tab in the browser, type in the virtual proxy, hub, and then click ticket equals. Paste the ticket in your clipboard and hit enter. We now see in the top that we have name1 and dir1. Let's go back and run it again. Press arrow up on the keyboard and I will change the username to name2 and directory to dir2 and hit enter. Once again, we get a response and this time with a new ticket. So go ahead and copy that as we did before.
As before, we will change the URL, but we will use the new ticket in this case. Remember to remove the quotes if you accidentally copied them with the ticket, and press Enter once you are done. Now you see the hub again, but with the new username and user directory. In this way, you can create tickets with Java, and you can make ticket authentication with your Java application into your ClickSense environment. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching.